To create an arc, you can specify combinations of center, endpoint, start point, radius, angle, chord length, and direction values. Arcs are drawn in a counterclockwise direction by default. To switch the direction of an arc, hold down the control key as you drag in a clockwise direction. There are so many options to create arcs, many users get overwhelmed. This lesson will cover just a few of the methods to create and modify arcs. We have a floor plan with several different arcs placed. I have placed some multi-leaders to identify locations to place an arc. I'm going to place my first arc using the Start End Radius option. Remember that arcs are placed counterclockwise, so my start point will be towards the bottom of the arc, moving up and to the right. I select the Arc, Start, End, Radius tool from the ribbon. I select the bottom endpoint as my start point and the top endpoint as my endpoint. AutoCAD prompts me for a radius and I type 13600. The arc is placed. I want to offset the arc. I don't want to enter the offset distance but I can use the Through option to place a new arc. I select the Offset tool from the Modify ribbon. I click on the Through option on the Command Prompt. I then select the intersection of the orange circle and the blue line to place the new arc. My next arc will be created using the Start End Angle method. I select the Start End Angle tool from the Arc Flyout on the ribbon. I select the top endpoint for the Arc Start Point. I hold down my Control key and select the Arc's endpoint. This changes the direction of the Arc. I press the Tab key to move my cursor to the Angle value. I enter 49 for the arc's angle value. The arc is placed. One of my favorite ways to place an arc is start in direction. I'm going to select the bottom endpoint as my start point and the midpoint near the arrowhead as my endpoint. I'm going to hold down my control key to switch the direction of the arc and then drag until the arc displays a preview of the desired radius. I will then left click or press enter to accept. I purposely drew this arc a little too short because I want to use the lengthen command to change the length of the arc. The lengthen tool is on the extended area of the modify panel on the home ribbon. I select lengthen. I right click and select dynamic to use the dynamic option. The dynamic option allows me to drag the endpoint of the arc to the desired position. I select the arc and drag the endpoint to the desired location. I have demonstrated some of the methods you can use to create and modify arcs. I encourage you to take some time to explore each method and try it out. You may find a new favorite option to add to your work process.